Hey Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, welcome and welcome cross watchers. I'm going to take a look at your connection with you and your person. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with everybody. You can always check out the placements and you may find some messages there for you. And if you'd like a personal reading, I'll leave the information down below. So... What is Capricorn's overall energy towards its connection with their person? What is Capricorn's overall energy towards their person and this connection? We have playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And then we have let your friends help you, ask for and accept support from others. So... What is this person's overall energy towards Capricorn? What is this person's overall energy towards Capricorn? What is this? We have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. And then we have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Okay. So I do feel like this connection is karmic, where there was a lesson meant to be learned um, for the both of you. You both of me may have felt like you learned something out of this. So I'm going to see how you view this connection with your person. How does Capricorn view this connection with their person? How does Capricorn view this connection with their person? Oh, we have the Hermit. So I feel like you're distancing yourself from this person that you're dealing with. Could be a Virgo. Um, yeah, you cut them off. You cut them off with the Queen of Swords, Six of Swords, and, and you're moving on at this point. I feel like there was some type of balance that was um, lacking between you guys. So maybe somebody was giving more than the other person, putting in more effort. But I feel like um, at this point, like, I'm hearing like with this person, it's like you're trying to pull out teeth. Like it was just really hard um, to kind of get anything from this situation, even though, um, there was a lot of playfulness between you guys. I feel like for whatever reason you had a conversation with them and you ended up cutting this person off. You could have even blocked this person. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. The Star. Six of Pentacles. And then the Nine of Swords. So, I feel like you had communication with this person about this balance here. I feel like you were being breadcrumbed by this person. Like they had so many, so much to give. Um, but they were just giving little crumbs at the end of this. And it wasn't what you were hoping for. And out of this situation, I feel like it just really had you worrying about this. Um, there could have been another person so maybe your person was giving to two people here and because of that like you you started to worry and you had a conversation about it with your person here I feel like this conversation was a pretty blunt and honest and whatever um, you found out you got some clarity out of it and you're basically at this point you're trying to move away from these choppy waters with them tell me about the six of swords we have the lovers, so I feel like you're trying to make a decision, a clear decision here when it comes to this person. For some of you, I do see you going back to this person um, towards a commitment with them, making a decision to have this communication about something long term and long lasting because um, there are really strong feelings here on your side. I feel like you really do love this person. Um, you have a lot of unconditional love when it comes to them. And um, I feel like whatever happened between you guys right now or in the past, 
I feel like you're trying to um, move past this with them and regain balance in this. So I see you having a conversation. I see you communicating with this person after a long time. So this is like a long awaited communication because you've been in hermit mode in the past. So whatever happened here, it's you haven't been talking to this person for a while. So literally the hermit can mean months even like years tell me about the hermit yeah page of wands tell me about the hermit no communication could be a fire sign so little aries sagittarius and this communication i feel like um you are losing hope with this person here the sun coming out reverse you start to lose hope when it came to this uh, relationship with them and because there was nothing coming out of this for some of you you blocked this person and at this point like maybe you unblock them but I basically if it hasn't happened already I see you communicating with them about um, this this basically this imbalance that happened between you guys so whatever that is to you Let's see how your person views this connection with you. How does this person view this connection with Capricorn? I almost said Libra, so maybe you're dealing with a Libra, or maybe you have Libra in your chart. How does this person view this connection with Capricorn? Five of Swords. So your person sees you as being the one that walked away from this. Um... I saw the Eight of Wands pop out somewhere. If I can just find it. I did see it. Oh, well, we'll see if it comes out again. But I feel like your person really wants to talk to you. I see this conversation being had. I'm getting King of Pentacles about some type of commitment here. Uh, so that's Earth Energy, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. So I feel like you walked away from this to kind of um, gain some clarity on this situation. And I feel like your person at this point, like, they want to move forward with you. They want to move forward towards uh, something long-lasting with the Four of Wands and Wheel of Fortune. So they're hoping that luck is on their side at this point. And they're hoping that you'll end up forgiving them. Um, but they see you as being the one that basically walked away from this connection maybe you walked away from this uh, commitment with them and at this point like your person is showing up as a king of pentacles so i do feel like you are going to get some type of offer um, of commitment like a true commitment when it comes to this connection here because they really want to move things forward to something something better for the both of you so this is a bright future with the wheel of fortune i feel like luck is going to be on your side at least your person like they're hoping for it and they're staying optimistic about this connection with you i feel like they're more optimistic about it than you are at this point so how does capricorn feel towards this connection with their person we have the ace of wands and the page of swords and the higher fate. Okay, so I see you moving towards this commitment with the higher fate underneath the six of swords here. So basically, I feel like the both of you are basically going to get onto this boat and balance things out in this connection. I feel like you do want this commitment with your person here. And I feel like you're going to end up getting what it is that you want in, out of this situation because your person is showing up as a mature energy and you have a lot of passion with them. I feel like with the Page of Swords, um, you're kind of curious about where their mind's at right now, um, what they're doing. You may be watching them. Tell me about the Page of Swords. But I, I know you really want to talk to this person because you do have love for them with the Page of Cups. Um, maybe you want to apologize about something. feel like for some of you, you you're kind of also um you get into this place where you get in your head about this person sometimes like you're wondering if there's other people involved when it comes to you and this connection and I feel like 
it gets to you at times because you do have love for this person and I feel like there has been some interferences in this connection in the past before and because of that reason like you do get in your head about it maybe you had other options on this person and you want to communicate and apologize about that but basically I see you wanting to communicate and basically seeing where things can go between the both of you because you do see a happy ever after when it comes to this person at this point and you're hoping for it you feel like the potential is there between you guys tell me about the ace of wands tell me about the we have the queen of pentacles okay so we have like a match here king of pentacles and queen of pentacles so i feel like you feel like this person can be your other half you're getting like I feel like you're getting some type of awakening from this person. You're coming to a lot of realizations. And I feel like you're staying optimistic when it comes to this at this point. You're becoming optimistic. And I feel like you had a beginning with this uh, person where maybe things were just sexual at first. And then it turned into something more serious between you guys. So let's see how your person feels towards you in this connection towards Capricorn in this connection how does this person feel towards Capricorn in this connection judgment they want another chance with you the hermit and then the king of cups so your person they want another chance with you but they feel like you you want nothing to do with them we have also water signs here, so Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. We have Libra also. So I feel like um, your person, they really do want another chance with you. And they're hoping for a second chance here. They're hoping that something changes out of this. But at the same time, they feel like at this point in time, like you guys kind of need a break from each other to kind of think about things. Um, your person at this point, like, they do have a lot of love for you with the King of Cups. So this is a serious energy. They feel like, deep down, they really have strong feelings towards you. Tell me about the King of Cups. But you showed up as a Page of Cups. So I feel like you, maybe you don't even know, but this person has stronger feelings towards you. Or your person, it feels like over time, um... They can get to this this king of cups energy because we do have the seven of pentacles so they feel like it's just a matter of time before this person starts to fall in love with you um if they even get that second chance now because they do want it and they feel like at divine timing perfect timing things will get better because again i feel like your person feels like this is some type of spiritual connection where they're just leaving it up to the divine at this point waiting for the perfect timing but they do have really really strong feelings for you they do love you so let's see what actions you'll take what actions will capricorn take towards this person We have the Wheel of Fortune. Three of Cups. And then we have the Two of Wands. So, I, f I see you thinking about reconciling with this person. I feel like you're, you're moving more towards this decision here about reconciling with them. But at this point in time... I feel like you're not making any type of movements when it comes to them. I feel like you're you're kind of waiting for this person to come forward towards you. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Tower. Wow. Yeah, so... Some type of tower moment happened between you guys in the past now. And you're wondering right now if this person's even talking to other people. I see that you guys had some type of fallout. This is definitely somebody who you're not um, communicating with um, or you haven't communicated with. But you will be pretty soon. I feel like you guys are going to have some type of talk about meeting up with each other. Um, but I feel like 
you're not making any final decisions when it comes to this person right now. I feel like you just kind of want to keep things playful as it is or you will be wanting to keep things playful or keep things as friends. So we have let your friends help you. You might just stay friends with this person and see where things go over time with the Wheel of Fortune because over time things can change here with the tower. I feel like over time there's going to be a major change that happens here. So you, I see you just going with the flow and just kind of seeing what happens out of this situation, seeing if things will get better, if things will move towards something committed and traditional and where you guys are going to have the same values because maybe your values are off. Maybe you guys have different beliefs when it comes to relationship and marriage. So I feel like um, you guys need to see eye to eye here. Tell me about the two of wands. We have the king of the, the knight of pentacles. So that's earth energy. It came out reversed. So yeah, I see you not making any decision right now about this offer and that this person is giving you. I feel like for some of you, again, this offer is not even able to get to you because you could have blocked this person. Like literally cut them off, block them. They only wanted um, something that was playful and not serious and then or keep things as friends with benefits and you basically just blocked off this person. This is for like another for another few of you where it's like you are just completely done with them, you've blocked them, you're over it, you're moving on, looking for what else is out there for you. But for others of you, I just see you not making a decision. I, first, you will like have some type of reunion, meet up with this person, but I don't see you making a decision or you're going to be thinking about it. So let's see what actions your person will take towards Capricorn. What actually will this person take towards Capricorn? Okay. The Magician. Ten of Wands. The Emperor. So Aries. Pisces. Um, your person is... I feel like your person is trying to get... Change the circumstances when it comes to you. Maybe through manifestations. But they're trying to change the situation and I feel like they want to move towards you because it's like this person feels like it's a challenge but they like it and that with the emperor here I feel like your person is actually changing um into something more serious because we have the king of cups the emperor and the king of pentacles so whether you see it or not like I see it your person is showing up as somebody who's very mature and um I feel like your person has went through a lot in their past where they needed to do a lot of forgiving and learning from and at this point I feel like they're closing off some type of burdensome cycle and trying to start something new with you and try to start something serious at this point. So maybe in the past things weren't that serious but I see that your person is basically changing into this mature energy. So that's what I'm getting for you guys. I'm going to get some clarifiers that this is somebody's re reading. Yeah, if they weren't serious then, they're serious now from what I'm seeing. And I feel like it's because your person has done a lot of growing. Any clarifications that this is somebody's reading? short term so maybe you had a short reunion short uh relationship with this person mature woman you are your person or maybe somebody who's very mature minded and then we have spiritual growth so maybe when you met this person you went through some type of awakening or enlightenment process um, revelations when it comes to this relationship so I definitely feel like this is something um, karmic so maybe it was very on and off um, some type of cycle needed to come to a close and at the bottom we have young male so maybe there's an age difference anybody 25 and under or maybe they have like a sports car so that's what I'm getting for you guys if you do like this reading please comment like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be updated for future videos thank you for watching bye